John, we didn't get to speak to you after the Worlds. Um, we, we all saw what happened. You've had a time, you've had a week to reflect. Talk about it. Um, wor worst day of my life, pretty much. <laughs> Up there uh, for sport-wise, you know, a home championships. It's all we focus on since Rio. And for it to end like that is obviously an absolute disaster. You know, we've analysed that race over and over since. My coach has done a brilliant job. And, you know, I felt great. I felt so strong. It was a really fast pace, but I felt, you know, I could do this. Uh, I knew I was really fit. So all that was in place. I felt technically great as well. You know, when we looked at it, my, my red cards didn't come in until K9. And I was disqualified by K12. What we saw there was there's some tactics the group was spreading out and, and uh, bunching back up again. So at that new speed, with that sort of tactics at the front of a race, that's something I had to learn. And unfortunately, I, I learned that lesson in the, on the biggest stage of them all. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's been a really hard week. It's been a long week. I've been absolutely gutted because I felt I could have gone on to something special, definitely a new PB, and that would have put me right amongst, amongst the top five. So uh, it's gutting, but I'm not an athlete who let it break me I will get better from it I will come out and now I know what it's like to fight at the front of a very fast race and you know medals will certainly be coming my way I will work on that definitely some athletes might blame the judges or something like that that's not me at all you know it's part of race walking uh, I kind of want that almost to be understood more and accepted no le no losses only lessons right absolutely yeah um today's was a bit of a, a different kind of event, wasn't it? Race versus, uh, the run versus the walk. Yes. Um, I don't know what it was all about, if I'm really, really honest, but I'd just like to see you out there doing your thing. How was it for you? Oh, it was great fun. Yeah, all it was about was demonstrating how fast I walk against a very, very good runner, almost world-class runner, you know. He's on the, Adam's on the verge of making championships and, and things like that. So, you know, we wanted to demonstrate just exactly how fast I can walk. And after last weekend, it's a bit of fun. You know, athletics needs some new ideas. And, you know, I considered maybe we could put a bit more of an amateur runner in and really kind of show how fast I walk or get the girls involved, a female runner walk. You know, there's so many more ideas we can do. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can introduce something like that into the meet that uh, British Athletics have just announced for next year, USA versus GB. That sounds awesome. You know, we love to lead the way in Britain with new ideas and, and making athletics sexy again. I love that. He's getting it, Mike. He's getting it. How do you down, what's your downtime look like? How's your off season? I am going on holiday uh, next week to Cyprus, so I'm looking forward to that massively. I haven't had a holiday for a couple of years, so that's nice. Spend some time with family and friends. You know, we've had world champs, Olympic Games, world champs. Time for some downtime. Plenty of time to get fit and strong and fast for Commonwealths and Europeans next year. But it's been a big, big few years, so I haven't wanted to take much time off for that. So now, chill, family, family, family for me. Um, I don't get to see my friends enough, so holiday and, and enjoy some downtime with them. Enjoy, brother, you deserve it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks.